for noise. The action shot. Uh, try to get a little more light here. This is going to look like a flip shutter going because it's on a very slow shutter. I could have upped the ISO, but I can't do it now while we're running. Now, the word, the line was again? Jupiter's moon? No. On three. Yeah. What she said. Wait, wait for the traffic to go. Side block astronomy is the best thing ever. And why is that? Oh, come on. That, that was enough. I only taught the subject. I, I'm not a student. I was a teacher. You can't get enough. You can't get enough. You can't get enough. There, you heard it here don't first. Don't go to the front of the online station. In Portland, Oregon. Thank you, man. And no, I am not an NPR radio announcer, but I get accused of something. There. There's a picture. Take it from the cell phone. I got two wow. of the moon. Show that to the camera. Tell, tell, tell me what I'm looking at. I got two of the moons off, a, off an android. That's amazing. Oh, we're looking at Jupiter. Now, you guys have a good night. And three of it's. Hey, you too. Thanks for looking. Thanks for looking. But uh, two of the moons off Jupiter. Actually, there's, there's three of them. Visible. There's three, but I got if two off, the, off, off an android through your telescope. That's a right. Is the third one a wave far out or the blurry one? Well, let's go back to the lower right. I the lower right. 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 It's hard because it's like taking it through. I mean, after immersing it, taking it through a and microscope is pretty hard. And I mean, you just gotta. Now you have a wider field be, view. You can see. Good. It's tinier. It's about the way Galileo saw it. And, uh, in fact, he didn't even see it that good. But he could tell that there were these little, little starlight specks around it that they discovered were Jupiter's moons eventually. Can I see this again? So that's like the tiny dot that I can see with my naked eye. Right. There's, there's three of them. Of the, there's actually right. three there's of them. There's three moons. Well, I want to get all three moons. Well, the, the big moon that I'm Right. Yeah, we're not looking at our moon. That's that's only a quarter of a million miles away. Jupiter is a half a billion miles. It's 480 it's a million miles so that's away. Jupiter, and then we're seeing two moons on either side. Yeah, some people have good enough eyesight. Eyesight, they can actually see the moons. But there's no light out. Even in the city lights, like the CDM, we're just really. On one side of Jupiter, my eyesight's not that good. My eyesight's pretty good. I you can't can, see. You can see one of binoculars. Where is the third Oh, no, she's doing this actually by holding the camera back that far. That's amazing. Right. You, keep keep that going. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put this camera behind yours and film you doing this. This is really cool. Okay. You're you're able to do that. I mean, you're actually able. I don't to know that I'm really. Can I try? Yeah, give me just two seconds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as long as you have a steady hand, you're good. That's pretty Watch good. Watch this. Everybody wants to get into the act. I'm a, I'm a surgeon. I'm gonna take my camera and I'm gonna get back here and what? I'm a surgeon when it comes to this. I've got medical people here tonight with uh, science degrees. I don't even have a degree and I was asked to teach astronomy at a university, believe it or not. I even told this on NPR's Talk of the yeah, Nation see, when I called gotta, in some years ago. Into it. You were just taking... I held the record for Collins to NPR's Talk of the Nation. Is. In the last few years it was on, yeah. I think it might work, yeah, a little better. Neil Conan put me ahead of the guests to speak several times. Why, but when I called in, they thought I was calling from another radio station. Uh -huh. They even asked me at the screener, were you calling from another radio station? I said, no, why are you asking me that? <laughs> you sound like the NPR radio announcers here, this young girl said. I said, well, in the morning I can't help it. When I first wake up, my voice just sounds this way. And she said, you should do voice, voiceover work. So I went to studios here to list, and instead I got sent to acting sets to go act. I've been on Portlandia twice. And oh, nice. In a few movies like Into the Wild, the young man trying to get to Alaska and live in the wild. I was in the opening scenes of that. It was the opening season of 2015. Um, it was the last time, of the two times I've been on. It was like a chick flick, they called it. Fred and Carrie were reverse gender roles. In fact, they, they both played women running uh, a big business like executives. They had me dressed as an executive in there in the background. You look familiar to me. I mean, yeah. I have seen most of those. I was going to say, I thought maybe you were a background extra on one of the sets. No, That's pretty good. That's amazing. You know how to operate your camera. Now, put, hold that up in front of here. See if you can get a shot of just out a little further. Oh, I really see the third But it's a little bright. So the, the third minute is down lower. He's actually got a little closer. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening to you. The 
third moon is down about uh, five o'clock. With an Android, <laughs> it is. As you're saying that, we're looking at this guy's Android phone with a picture on it. He just took, that's amazing, he got this. Thanks, Grant. You can do that through um, a te uh, microscope as well. Right. I did uh, telephase. We have the technology. I did telephase. Yeah. Isn't technology wonderful? It is beautiful. Anyway. So, so what, are the names? what are the names of the moons? Uh, the closest one is EO, and then the next one out, I think, is Callisto, and then... Ganymede's the largest one. It's almost the size of Mars. I, know that. I took 4, this 000. through a microscope. So, like, and uh, Europa. Blood cells. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is it? yeah, it's got like ice fields over it, and uh, they think there's flowing water underneath its surface. And there could be microorganic life, maybe, but I don't know. It was shown in the movie 2010. Yeah. The kind of cheesy sequel to 2001 that was made later. That uh, there was also, there was another idea about it. Too, I, I saw. Right. Well, it's you know basically they think that Jupiter is a cold star unformed. The outer gas giants are like cold stars. Uh, well, they contain the gaseous material like our sun has hydrogen and helium, but um, they think in the evolution of the solar system four and a half billion years ago. Uh, that the outer gas giants were like stars that didn't form. <laughs> they fell into the outer regions from the sun and they stayed cold and the gases didn't solidify or ignite or into into a electromagnetic active star like the sun and all the stars are. So they think one day Jupiter could conceivably form into another star and then the moons around it would become its planets. Nah. That, was, that was portrayed in 2010, yeah. the year we like make contact. It gets warm enough that things and the, can in, ignite. Well, the intelligent entity, remember 2010, the year we make contact, after 2001? Did you guys ever see 2001? Right. Yeah. If yeah. you haven't, you should go home and rent it tonight. We've seen 2001. Yeah, well, a lot of people have not seen it. Yeah. You'd be surprised how many young people, they have never even heard of Stanley Kubrick, they don't even know who he is. He's listed in the history books as the greatest director who ever lived. Um, so, anyway. Oh, did you guys not get to see, uh... Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I haven't seen the movie yet, though. I just thought it was a good movie. That was a great statement you made. <laughs> well, a good statement you made about astronomy. It's good to have somebody to talk to. Put this up in YouTube later if it's okay. Yeah. Well, I need to sign a, a waiver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do that? Do you guys use Facebook? Yeah. Put it up in there too. You can get my Facebook. Mark Seibel. Mark Seibel. It's Mark of the case. S E I B O L. So I think you see where the galaxy is in the telescope. This telescope with the camera is out there. I think they show you in the the galaxy, which is in the sky. It's impossible to get it. If you haven't seen the moon, don't leave. Because it's really uh, it's really the night to be seen and my favorite night of the month. It's like this mountain range hanging in the darkness off the edge. It's called Sinus Iridum, which is Latin for Bay of Rainbows. It's sort of a sea cusp of mountain range hanging there on the dark edge. It's really it's the most beautiful night of the month to be seeing it and observing it. The bus is gone for nine minutes. That's going to take a while to upload. You guys, you should look at the moon and Jupiter through the telescope if you want to. Yeah, we thought the wind was coming in like a storm or something. There'd be rain by now, but it's still clear. It reminds me more like the late summer or fall months. It's windy like this in late August or September.
Mark, I got you on Facebook. Uh, I got Everybody does. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, just... Astronomy is our, everybody's favorite subject. Yeah, that's what you said. It really it wasn't, is. Wasn't that great? That was a great line she came up with. Um, yes, it should be. I mean, the universe it really is... really should. The universe, like a drama, being able to... Let them go ahead and look at you. Right. It's like, I want to take home. It really it really is. I mean because I mean the question of like where we came from pretty much originates from the universe. That's true. The universe is our home and we owe it to ourselves to take greater notice of it. Absolutely. How could we forget about it? I mean why aren't they showing this on television every night? Every night. I would watch. But uh I wish my phone was anyway, look. That's probably long enough. We've gone on for 10 minutes here. We'll go back to doing some still photography. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Sure, you're welcome.